So you're living then in Los Angeles when mm -hmm. you're shooting, but you're still home is still in Australia. Oh, for me, definitely. For me, home is definitely in Australia. Mm. For my kids, who have spent, you know, the majority of their life in America, I think this is home. Um, so, I, you know, we don't talk a lot about what is home, home. When, when we're all together, we're home. Do you know what I mean? Makes sense. I mean, I had just read somewhere that you were considering becoming an American citizen. Mm -hmm. Is that, is there any truth to this? Yeah, I've been considering. I, I'm also, I have to find the time to go through and do the whole process, which I haven't found yet. And I have been considering it um, because, uh, you know, my, my two sons were born here and they have dual mm -hmm. citizenship. Uh, when I, I'm a green card holder, but when I first got my green card, you couldn't have dual citizenship. You had to denounce one or the other. So I, I, I was oh, in a bind Oh, you have to there. do that. You did. You They've did. changed the rules. Now you can. And uh, I've just got to get around to it. Well, see, I've read that your two youngest children have, one has Nicole Kidman, the other has Naomi Watts, has a godparent. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, you're sticking with Australia. You know, come on. Where's where's the American godparents? You know, I well, don't know. Nicole was born. Nicole was born in Hawaii. Yeah, but it doesn't right. count. We all know. She the, the, the accent goes. Right Naomi back was and born in England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know. But where's their heart? I don't. I, you don't have to ask them. Though. I have asked them, I and I know I where it is. In it's in Australia. But you, you know, know probably that probably is is because culturally, we are spirited. We have, we, we you know. The place was colonized with with the rejects of of English society. You know, it was set up by criminals. We we had to, we've always had to fight against the odds. We always we see ourselves as underdogs. All right. Well, I'm going to end this uh, conversation with the question I ask everybody at the end. It always involves you raising your voice in a snippet of something that is musical. I like wrote a little. Uh, I guess it's a lullaby to my daughter when she you was... You wrote it. Well, I made it up on a road trip. No, I like that. I guess you could say I <laughs> wrote it, right? <laughs> um, I forget how it goes. Oh, I remember the chorus. Okay, that's all we need. Um, it doesn't have to be the complete three was, minute and 20 second version. No, it's not that yeah, long. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't <laughs> give you more. Get, yeah. But the chorus was, um, when the moon comes out, and the sun goes down, la 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 la. And the stars come out to twinkle and play. Stella lays down to sleep, sleeping baby. I think, I, oh, beautiful Stella. When the stars come out to twinkle and play. Stella lays down to sleep. That was it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah.